When season did the Chicago, he was a graceful child. The sacred chickens just raised the dickens, the vestal virgins went wild. Whenever the nervy got nervy, gave him an awful rest. They shook in their shoes, the concert the blues, the imperial Roman death. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were in here. Oh, hello, <laughs> I'm giving a little concert. <laughs> um, why didn't you lock the door? Didn't I? Of course you didn't. Did you really think I would walk right through it? I thought you picked the lock, dearest. <laughs> <laughs> You're so careless. No, I'm as happy as a garbage man's dog, and I'm giving a little concert. Julie, grow up! <laughs> the walls reflect the sound, you see. That's why there's something so very beautiful about singing in a bathtub. It gives an effect of surpassing loveliness. Can I render you a selection? I wish you would hurry up. Can't be hurried. This is my kingdom at present. Godliness. Why do you know a name? Because you're next to cleanliness. <laughs> Don't throw anything, please. How old will you be? Not less than 15, nor more than 25 minutes. As a favor to me, will you please, please make it 10? Oh, godliness. Do you remember a day in the chill of last January when one Julie, famous for her Easter rabbit smile, was going out and there was scarcely any hot water, and young Julie had just filled the tub to bathe her own little self when her wicked sister came in and did bathe herself therein, forcing young Julie to perform her ablutions using cold cream, which is expensive and a darn lot of trouble. Then you won't hurry. Why should I? Because I, I've got a date. A date? Here at the house? None of your business. So be it. Oh, for heaven's sakes, yes. Yes, I have a day here at the house, in a way. In a way? Well, he's calling for me, and we're walking. He's not coming in the house. The plot clears. It's that literary Mr. Calkins. I thought you told Mother you wouldn't invite him in. She's so idiotic. She did test them because it just got a divorce. Yeah, she may have more experience than I do, but... Don't let her kid you. Experience is the biggest gold brick in the world. All older people have it for sale. I like her. We talk literature. Oh, so that's why I've noticed all the lady books around the house lately. He lends them to me. Well, you've got to play his game. When in Rome, do as the Romans would like to do. But I'm through with books. I'm all educated. Yeah, you were very inconsistent last summer. You read every day. If I were consistent, I'd still be living on warm milk out of a bottle. Yes, and probably my bottle. But you see, I like Mr. Calkins. I never met him. Well, will you hurry up? Yes. I wait for the water to get tepid, and then I let in more hot. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> Remember when we used to play Sopo? Yes, we were 10 years old. I'm surprised you still don't play it. I do. <laughs> I'm going to in a minute. <laughs> Silly game. No, it isn't. It's good for the nerves. I'll bet you've forgotten how to play it. No, I haven't. You you fill the bath with soap says, and you get on the edge and you slide down. <laughs> That's only part of it. You've got to slide down without using your hands or feet. Oh, what do I care? I wish we wanted come here every summer, or at least get a house with two bathtubs. You can buy yourself a little tin one. <laughs> or use those. Oh, shut up! Leave the towel. What? Leave the towel for when you go. This towel? Yes. I forgot my towel. Why, you idiot! You have even a kimono! <laughs> Why, so I haven't. Wait, how did you get here? I guess I, uh, I guess I whisked here. You know, a uh, white form of whisking down the stairs and... <laughs> Why, you fifty little wretch! Have you any pride or self-respect? Lots of both. 
I think that proves it. I looked very well. I really am rather cute in my natural state. How oh, you? I wish people didn't have to wear clothes. I guess they ought to be a pagan or a, or a native or something. You're a... I dreamt last night that one Sunday in church, a boy brought in a magnet that attracted cloth. He attracted the clothes right off of everybody, put them in an awful state. People were crying and shrieking and carrying on with it as if they had just discovered their skins for the first time. Only, I didn't care. So I just laughed. I had to pass the collection plate because no one else would. Suppose I had it come in here. You would have to run all of it to your room. On, on clothes? All natural. It's so much nicer. Suppose there was an elephant room. There never has been yet. Yet? Oh, good grief. How old will you be? Hmm. Besides, I usually have a towel. Oh, good lord, what do I care? You ought to be spit. I hope the minister is in the living room with their wives and their daughters. There wouldn't be room for all of them in the living room, answered Queen Kate of the laundry district. All right, you made your own bathtub. You can lie in it. Hey, 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 I don't care about the kimono, but leave the towel. I can't dry myself using a piece of soap and a wet wash rag. I want to humor such a creature like you. You can figure out the best way to dry yourself. Maybe you can roll around like the animals did when they didn't have any clothes on. All right, get out. Huh. Her pebeco smile. <laughs> Lucille style. Hello? Are you a plumber? Uh, are you the water department? What do you want? I suppose you're a ghost. Are you? Well, then stop banging. If you're a plumber, that's a mean trick. Turn it off, poor fellow. Don't argue. I want water. Water? Water! Someone think it? Jumping cats! Water's no good for fits. Fits? Who said anything about fits? You said something about cat jumping. I did not. Well, we can talk about it later. Are you ready to go out just now, or do you still feel like you can go with me? Everyone will gossip. Gossip? Would they? It'd be more than gossip. It'd be a regular scandal. Here, you're going at it a little strong. Sure, your family might be somewhat disgruntled, but to the pure, a halt in your subjection. No one would think of it except a few old ones. Come on. You don't know what you ask. Do you imagine we have a crowd following us? A crowd? There'd be a special all-steel buffet train leaving New York hourly. Say, are you house cleaning? Why? Well, it's just I see all the pictures are off the walls. <laughs> Why? We never have pictures. Odd. I never heard of a house without pictures or tapestry or panel or something. <laughs> There's not even any furniture in here. What a strange house. Depends on the angle you see it from. It's so nice talking to you like this, when you're nearly the voice. I'm rather glad I can't see you. So am I. So, what color are you wearing? Um. I guess it's sort of a, um, pinkish-white. Pinkish-white. Is it becoming of you? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> I've had it for a long while. I thought you said you made it all clothes. I do. Um, but this was a, a birthday present, so I, I kind of have to wear it. Pinkish white. 
Oh, I bet it's divine. Is it a style? Quite. <laughs> it's very simple, standard model. Oh, what a voice you have. How it echoes. Sometimes I see you on a far desert island calling for me, and I plunge toward you through the surf, hearing you call as you stand there, water stretching on both sides of you. What was that? Did I dream it? Yes. <laughs> You're very poetic, aren't you? No, I, I do prose. I only do verse when I'm stirred. Stirred by a spoon. I've always loved poetry. To this day, I remember the first poem I ever read. It was Evangeline. That's a fib. <laughs> Did not say Evangeline. I met the skeleton in honor. I'm a lowbrow, but I can remember my first poem. It had one verse. Parker and Davis, sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Are you growing fond of literature? It's not too ancient or complicated or depressing. Same way with my people. I like them not too ancient or complicated or depressing. Of course, I read anonymously. You were telling me just last night that you were going fond of Walter Scott. Scott? Let's see, um, I've read Ivanhoe and The Last of the Mohicans. <laughs> no, that's my Cooper. Ivanhoe is? You're crazy. I guess I know. I read it. No, The Last of the Mohicans is my Cooper. What do I care? I like O. Henry. I don't see how he ever wrote those stories. Most of them he wrote in prison. The Battle of the Reading Gal, he wrote in prison. Literature, literature, how much it is meant to me. Well, as Gabby Dustless said to Mr. Bergeson, with my looks and your brains, there's nothing we can't do. You are rather hard to keep up with. One day you're awfully pleasant, and the next you're in a mood. If I didn't understand your temperament so well. You're so one of those amateur character readers, are you? Size people up in five minutes and then act wise whenever their name is mentioned. I hate that sort of thing. I don't boast of sizing you up. You're the most mysterious, I'll admit. <laughs> There's only two mysterious people in history. Uh, who are they? Well, the man with the iron mask and the fellow who says, Ugh, 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 when the line is busy. You are mysterious. I love you. You're virtuous and brilliant and intelligent. And that's the rarest known combination. You're a historian. Um, tell me if there are any um, bathtubs in history. I feel they've been frightfully neglected. Bathtubs? Hmm. Let's see. Agamemnon was stabbed to death in his bathtub. And uh, Charles Coutet stabbed a rat in his bathtub. Way back there. Nothing new besides the sun, is there? Why? Only yesterday I picked up a musical comedy score that must have been at least 20 years old. And there on the cover it said, The Shimmies of Normandy. But Shimmy was spelled the old way, with the C. Oh, I love these modern dances. Lois, I wish to see you. Come to the window. But what was that? I heard something too. It sounded like running water. Didn't it? Strange like it. Why, as a matter of fact, I was filling the fishbowl. But what was that banging noise? Um, uh, one of the fish snapping its golden jaws. Lois, I want you. I am not a mundane man, but I am a forger. Oh, how interesting. A forger at hand. I want you. What you really want is for the whole world to come to attention and stand there till you give it rest. Lois, I... Lois, I... Mr. Calkins! I thought you said you were wearing pinkish white! <laughs> Dear Lord, she's fainted. I'm coming in. In that case, I'll be right out.